hi guys welcome back to the engineer studio and in today's video we want to be learning how to create this realistic morphism effect here on your smartphone it has always been done on your system but now i want to try it out on our smartphone so make sure you watch to the end to understand better and click on the subscribe button if you are new and smash the notification bell so you don't miss our future uploads let me select a background select a background color i already use this then i come here and i put from my import menu here then i search for the image i used and Let me use this. Okay. Then I click on OK. All right. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to save this as image on Pixel Lab. I'll come to save, save image. Then I will save as ultra and I'm done. Okay, it's gonna be fun, so make sure you watch closely. Then the second software we'll be using is our Snapseed. I hope you know it is used for enhancing image quality. We'll talk about it in our future upload. So I tap on this plus icon here and Come here. So I click on this edit. I come to this pencil like icon at the middle, at the right side of me. Then I tap on the pencil icon. I come to lens block. So I I want to blow this image. Then I drag it anywhere then I increase the, the blur strength to something like this depending on how blur you want it to be then I adjust this transition just hold the screen and move it up the transition make sure you are just working on it I adjust this to minus it this to 65 and this to 89 okay so then we click on the check mark here and every for it to load and here we go so you click you click on this download button to save it then you save okay now we come back to our pixel lab and you select a shape just depending on your radius then click on ok click on ok then you select another big shape to cover the entire work frame and you are going to select a color that is totally different from everything that when you use it that when you want to remove it can easily be removed because of it is very contrasting so at, then i merge these two the this rectangle and this square then i match them together come to my eraser button and remove this one at the middle you can work on the color if you want but this i'm okay with this then you click on ok then we are going to import the image with blood and come to uh, snap cd then you click on this 
make sure it is the same frame as the one you saved you check mark it come to your relative size and move it to 100 100 then you click on ok and you move it to the back of this one you recently matched okay then you match the two again I sure want to match then you click on okay and next thing you do is to remove the big blue color so I come to my eraser click on then I use this eyedropper to to select then I remove this okay can adjust it can select I can remove more Okay, I think it's okay this way. Then I click on OK. We tap on this, the one we recently merged and removed the color. You come to your stroke, increase the stroke to one. Come to your color. We are going to use a gradient color and click on gradient to select any random color like this and you work on it so you tap on this face slider here come to color and adjust the color you just reduce the opacity of this white you just reduce the opacity in order to give this glass mobilizing a smooth effect then you come back here to the second option here then you click on ok do the same thing you can even adjust this this time and here we go so you click on ok and ok here we have it so now you can just come to your shadow to give it more feelings my shadow come here come to your white to this opacity click on ok to make it a bit more realistic so you can work on the radius if you want it's not it's not too obvious so and now here we go now we are done with the tutorial but there's a secret i deliberate hide from you guys so that is only to those that are watched to the end to create something like this you must make the the, the area you wanted to create a realistic glamour a little bit distracting just like this one after the, there's no way you can make it so real if you only use a plain background like this but when when i had this bell images at the back it gives this it makes it a bit realistic and just let's go class let's just type our text in here Come to my phone. Then this is the font I use. Lemon make bold italic. I duplicate. Depending on anything you want to write on it, and here we have it. it looks more real so thanks guys for watching to the end 
and if you are new don't forget to click on the subscribe button smile the notification bell so you don't miss the future upload and see you guys next week friday bye